I will make and record these measurements several times before, during, and after my repair of this unit. Measuring prop shaft runout can help me determine if the prop shaft is bent. If the prop shaft wiggles around in there, there is play in the prop shaft bearing. This spacer needs to be clamped down flush to the gear case housing. I made up this flat bar to do the job. Now I need to use my inch pound torque wrench to measure the rolling resistance of the assembly. This 12 point socket does the job fine. A quarter inch drive to half inch socket adapter may not be readily available, but I can easily work one up. A 0 to 30 inch pound torque wrench gives me much finer detail than the 0 to 150 inch pound torque wrench recommended in the manual. Now I can measure the rolling resistance of the whole assembly. Now I can remove the bearing carrier and the prop shaft. This is a very strong puller. Now we can get in here and make a good inspection of those very expensive gears. The gear at the top is the pinion gear held on by the pinion nut and the gear in the back is the driven gear. Now I can measure the rolling resistance of that pair of tapered roller bearings on the drive shaft. This tool is required to measure the pinion height. I'm going to stick a feeler gauge through this hole right here. First I clean up these surfaces where the bearing carrier was seated. The pinion height is the distance from the bottom of that pinion gear to the top of that tool.
if the measurement was 25 thousandths of an inch, a 24 thousandths feeler gauge would slip in there, a 26 thousandths feeler gauge would not go in at all, and a 25 thousandths feeler gauge would be very, very tight. The rolling resistance of the drive shaft bearings and the pinion height are set by properly shimming the drive shaft. That flat bar sure provides a nice place to mount my dial indicator. Backlash is a measurement of the tiny space between the faces of the teeth on the gears. The amount of backlash is adjusted by properly shimming that driven gear. Final backlash measurement is made with the propeller shaft reinstalled. These Mercury service manuals give me all the information I need to do this job. These service bulletins let me know what changes were made over the years. I actually prefer the OEM parts. Doing this job lets me inspect every little piece of the unit for condition and to understand how each part of the system works. and to repair or replace any parts I think need attention.